Well, hello there. It's me, Cheryl, and today I am bringing you my what I got for Christmas video. First off, I'd like to start the video by wishing everyone a happy new year. I hope that so far the new year has been good to you. And uh, I hope you had a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate. Let's get right into the video. So the first things I'm gonna mention are two things that I bought myself. Not exactly as presents to myself, they're just um, things that should have been included in my December haul, but for one reason or another, they weren't. I'll start with this. <laughs> my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Finally, I managed to get my hands on this. And it was thanks to my good homie Janice, who was in London and um, I asked her if she could get me one of these because the last time I was in London they were out of stock and she managed to find one and uh, yeah so this is the first thing I got for myself it's a full-size bottle and uh, I haven't used it yet because I'm still using up my NYX one but that one will soon be running out, I'm sure, because I've had it for a while now. So yeah, can't wait to start using this. Can you tell that I'm so excited to be using my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray? Of course not, I'm so subtle. This product is from Colourpop, as you will not be surprised to hear. I totally in love with the Colourpop Lippy Sticks. I found their ultra matte lips to be a bit too drying on my lips. I much prefer the Lime Prime Velveteens when it comes to liquid lipsticks. But when it comes to bullet type lipsticks, then I love the Colourpop Matte and Matte X formulas. I have a few of both formulas and I have to say I love them. They're great. They are very comparable to the MAC and NYX matte lipsticks, but for a fraction of the price, so bring it on. Uh, this color is called Bichette, and uh, there's a particular reason why I got this one, and I couldn't show it to you in my previous haul. It is because I gave uh, my three close friends um, Martha, Janice, and Jackie, one each, because it's kind of our <laughs> group nickname. <laughs> and uh, when I saw this on the Colourpop website, I said, okay, this has to come with me. I have to get one each for the other guys. And yeah, so I couldn't show it in my haul because I hadn't given them their presents yet. And I didn't want to give away the surprise. So yeah, um, it's a lipstick I'm wearing on my lips right now. It is a gorgeous matte, as I said. It's a very gorgeous pinky red color. And for a matte, it is very, very, very moisturizing on the lips. And this is what it looks like. You'll be seeing a close-up swatch too. So, on to the actual presents. The first thing that I got was from my lovely boyfriend, Malcolm, and it is something I cannot actually show you because I'm using it right now to film. It is my brand new camera tripod. No more do I have to use a bunch of Colourpop and Lime Crime boxes tagged on top of each other. I wish I were kidding. I'm not. <laughs> The next one is from my mother. She got me two jewelry sets. They're kind of poche and <laughs> special occasion -y type jewelry sets. Both sets include a pair of earrings and a matching necklace. This one is more on the purpley side and it's got flowers and she knows I love both the color purple and flowers. A silvery toned one. The earrings are here, matching necklace, and the colors are blue, light blue, and again, light purple. Another gift from my mother 
It is one of my favorite gifts. I used it when I went to Dublin. It is this huge, enormous blanket scarf. I believe it's from Stradivarius, if I remember well, because I removed the label, because I don't like having long labels stuck to scarves. So I chopped that off, but I believe it's from Stradivarius. And look at it, it is absolutely, it's so big and cozy. I also love the colors. Thank you, mom. This one is from my other very good friend, Gabby, and it is a gorgeous necklace. It's in gold and it's got a tiny diamond shaped pendant at the bottom. It's so cute and very delicate. And I haven't got many of these kind of necklaces, so Thank you, Gabby. Another piece of jewelry from my other good friend, Helga. She's one of my makeup buddies in crime. Uh, we basically do so much damage when it comes to lime crime and color pop. So, <laughs> thank you for not making me feel guilty about my addiction, Helga. She got me this adorable choker necklace from Yana's Jewelry. Yana's Jewelry is a indie brand store in Malta. The owner and uh, the founder of Yana's Jewelry makes these amazing pieces of jewelry. I love giving them as gifts. I never bought anything for myself because they are quite expensive, so I couldn't justify getting something for myself. So yes, thank you Helga for giving my first piece of Yana's jewelry. I love it. The color is absolutely beautiful. It is a kind of maroony red uh, kind of stone and it is absolutely gorgeous. The next present is one of the gifts that I got from my friend Jackie and uh, it is this adorable loofah in the shape of a teddy bear from the body shop. And actually, I don't think I can bear using him. <laughs> bear, <laughs> get it? Okay, no. <laughs> I don't think I could ever make myself use it because it's so cute. So what I will probably do is use it to, as a decoration in my bathroom. I can just make him perch cutely on the windowsill or on the side of the bath. So yeah, this guy, too cute to use. Thanks, Jackie. I got from Jacqueline are this lovely wallet from Accessorize. It is a beautiful teal color and it's got a tiny compartment which closes with the little hoop fastening and it's got a compartment which closes with a pop button where you can put your cards and your cash I guess and a final compartment with a double-sided zip compartment. gift I got from dear Jacqueline is uh, this adorable air freshener from Accessorize and it is actually a selfie frame. I have got to find a good photo and I've got to put it into this frame because it is absolutely adorable and uh, I can't wait to hang it in my car. And Martha gave me this adorable duo from Zoella, which I am really excited for. I heard so many things about the Zoella beauty range, but I haven't managed to get my hands on any of them yet. But this, these are amazing. They're basically a gingerbread scented body cream or body lotion and a gingerbread scented body spray. I cannot emphasize how much I love this scent. Uh, it's uh, actually, I'm just gonna spray it myself right now, not in front of you guys. That's how much I love this smell. I believe in gingerbread goodness. It smells exactly like freshly baked gingerbread cookies. And it also has little gingerbread men on the back part of the bottle. I'm going to be so sad when I run out of this. It's, it has so far been my go-to 
scent since I got it. So thank you so much, Paste. I have not yet used the ginger cream, but it smells exactly the same as the body spray, so I'm sure I'll love it too. Now, next are my gifts that I got from my good, good buddy, Janice. Now one of them is already being used in my car, but I shall insert a photo. It is a air freshener from New Look, and it's in the shape of a heart, and it's got a unicorn across it, which I love. And um, people got me a bunch of stuff for my car for a reason. I recently had to buy a new car. My friends know this, and they bought me some stuff that I can use to personalize my car. The next thing that Janice got me is this set from Anatomicals. Now, I have never used anything from Anatomicals before, seeing as how I'm not all that well versed when it comes to skincare. I will admit, I'm not very good at the skincare. I, I love makeup, but I'm not very good at keeping my skin looking nice. I know it's not a good thing. To admit to and I'm going to be trying my very best making sure that I take care of my skin because my makeup goes on my skin and if my skin doesn't look good my makeup doesn't look good either and Janice oh so nicely foresaw what I was thinking I guess and she got me this set from Anatomicals and it's called all things bright and beautiful heaven sent skincare and you remove this thing right there and the back it explains what is inside the box, which I will explain. So this is what is inside the Anatomicals box. It contains three different items. The first thing is a pack of face masks, which is really good because I, um, I need a mask now and then. My face tends to break out at very random parts of the year and sometimes I just need a good face mask to calm the whole thing down and um, this is called from worrying complex to wonderful complexion and there are three face masks that's great the first one is called the hotty totty is never spotty it's an anti-blemish face mask which I need the second one is get out of my face dirt ball and it is an apricot face scrub and the third one is Hawaii 5 Glow, which is a tropical hydrating face mask. And yeah, I will definitely be using these and I'll let you know how I found them. The next thing inside here is called We Never Forget a Face Memory Memorably Good Daily Moisturizer. And it looks like this. It has a pump and also oh, to make sure that none has come out, they come with a little stopper. That's so cute. That's actually really good. And we only want you for your body. Very subtle anatomical, very subtle. The third and final thing which came in this adorable box is we never forget a face, memorably good daily cleansing pads with exfoliating glycolic acid. Oh, they smell nice. Cleansing pads, which you use, I guess, to exfoliating pads. Wipe pad across face. Apply to cleanse. Oh, okay. So first you wash your face, and then you go over your clean face with one of the pads. And actually, those will be really good when I'm traveling. So I think I'll keep them for on the go rather than when I'm at home because when I'm at home I usually use toner and micellar water after I wash my face so I think I'm set. Thank you Janice for taking care of my face. For my sisters I received quite a few things. I received these three Harry Potter themed makeup bags. I got this really big one sized one and a smaller one and I'm loving them uh, great for storing stuff and I need to store a lot of stuff so thanks guys inside these three things are a bunch of 
presents that I got from my sisters and my boyfriend. So the first thing that's in here is from um, Fiona and her boyfriend Samuel. Hey Samuel! And they got me these three adorable Christmas tree decorations which I am so looking forward to use next year because I didn't manage to use them this year obviously. I've got this little wooden owl shape which says <laughs> horrible minty green wreath which has like lace all around it and a pink knitted style bow and a purple button holding it together in the center and this lovely light purple Christmas tree with a again knitted looking green Christmas tree laid over it Another pink button in the middle and a bow. They are so cute, they are so my style. I'm so happy. The final set of gifts was kind of a collaboration between my sisters and my boyfriend, Malcolm. I had recently seen a set of makeup which was Harry Potter themed by this company called Shiro Cosmetics and they do different type of makeup for different you know themes like they've got a lord of the rings one they've got game of thrones etc etc and uh, somehow my sisters and my boyfriend found out about this amazing brand and they went and bought me the whole set and i cannot believe it <laughs> There are three lip glosses. Yes, I know that I don't usually wear lip glosses, but they're Harry Potter themed, so I thought I would make an exception. There is this one called Amortentia, which is the love potion, and it is a absolutely gorgeous purple color. And this is Amortentia right here. One is called Felix Felicis and it is a gorgeous gold color. This is Felix Felicis. And the final one is called Polyjuice. <laughs> and I love that it's called Polyjuice because it does look kind of like Polyjuice potion and this green and icky looking here. But goes on as a clear gloss. It does have a slight greenish tint, but you're not gonna be able to see it honestly. They smell like I can't really tell what they smell like because it's quite strange. It's kind of like baked cookies, but you let them in the oven for a bit too long so they start to burn a bit this, I don't know the smell doesn't bother me so that's fine next products are the two face products and they are both chocolate frogs this is the white chocolate frog and it is a highlighter and this is the brown chocolate frog and it is a bronzer now as you might know I am not exactly the best person when it comes to using highlight and bronzer or contour but they come in a loose powder it is a very subtle highlight yet it does show up that's the white chocolate frog which is the highlighter and this is the milk chocolate frog which is the bronzer again i have yet to play with these properly what i will say for them is that they are very pigmented It is a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of eyeshadow pigments. And each one of the colors is named according to the character which is depicted on the front. So I'll give you a brief rundown of all of them. Again, you'll be seeing a swatch of each one on my hand in close-up. I love all the colors. Some of them are pearlized finishes. I think there's only one or two which are matte. 
the others are all paralyzed. Let's start with the basics. So this is Harry. This is the Harry color and it's called The Boy Who Lived and it is a sort of charcoal gray pearly color. One is Hermione and it's called a bit of light reading and this color is one of my favorite colors to use on my eyes it is a kind of burgundy browny color with very slight reflect there's Ron and there he's with his little chicken drumstick and scabbers on his shoulder and this one is called that's chess and this one is also a very nice color it is a gold kind of color next we've got some more students we've got Ginny obviously and here she is looking really sassy and the color is called if you've got enough nerve and this one is another one of my kind of colors. This is a rust color. It reminds me of Ginny's hair. The next one is Mr. Neville on bottom and it's called All Kinds of Courage. It is a gorgeous dark blue. The shimmer in this one is quite subtle. is the Luna Love Good color and this was another of my favorites for sure it's you're just the same as I am now this is what I call the magic unicorn of colors because it looks like a lilac but then in some lights it looks silver and it is amazing student color is the Weasley twins and this is called Wizard Weezes and this is another more of a rusty color but this one has a bit of silver mixed in so it makes a very very pretty kind of different reflex to the color. Next student is Draco Malfoy and this is called Not Yet So Damaged and the color is exactly the same color as Draco's hair it is a kind of metallic lemon yellow color next we've got my favorite character I think in the whole series Dobby Dobby the house elf and it is obviously called a free elf and it made me so sad when I read it and the color the color I'm not that happy with actually because it's not one of my favorites it is a matte kind of mustardy color and I'm sure I'll be able to work with it just not my favorite of all colors so but I love Dobby so I'll make it work for Dobby We've got Mr. Hagrid, Mr. Rubius Hagrid, and it is called Too Big to Be Allowed. Oh, this one was another one of the nice ones. Again, pearly finish. Next, we've got Professor McGonagall, which is my favorite Hogwarts teacher ever, ever, ever. And it's called Have a Biscuit Potter. And this is also one of my favorite colors. It is a, what I like to call a Christmas tree green. The next one, also a Hogwarts professor, is Professor Dumbledore. And he's got Fox right there next to him. And it's called The Well Organized Mind. This color is 
basically a blue toned silver metallic color. This is very pretty. Next we have Professor Snape, which to be honest, I am one of those people who still think Snape was a douchebag for the way he treated Harry. And even though he technically did save his life, should have gone about this in a different way. So, and this one is called After All This Time. Always. Sorry. And this color is quite an interesting one actually. It is dark and metallic, not quite black, and kind of a um, greeny toned black, and very nice, I think, for the other view or beneath the lash line. I bought Professor Lupin and the color is too old, too poor, too dangerous. And another metallic color, this one is a gunmetal grey metallic. Lupin, we've got his lovely wife, one of my favorite characters in the whole series, you know, Hufflepuff Pride and all. And it's Nefedora Tonks, the Metamorph Magus, and that's what it's called. This one is another unicorn color, very similar to, to Luna's color, but more purpley and less glittery. This is like a grey lilac shimmer. Four members of the Order of the Phoenix, and then I've got three kind of villains. So I'll do the two members of the Order of the Phoenix. I've got Professor Madai Mundi, and the color is Constant Vigilance, and mm. the color is a lovely old gold, kind of greeny toned gold color. My man series black and the color is dark and light inside us and the color is a matte brownie dark purple color so, Next we've got the Dursleys and this one is called there's no such thing as magic and the color is actually not an ugly color just a bit bland, I guess, which was the point of calling it There's No Such Thing As Magic. It is a dusky pink color with very slight pink shimmers running through it. And we've got Bellatrix Lestrange and it's called Mad As Her Master. And this color is a dark, dark, dark midnight blue with a slight shimmer running through it. And the last, but kind of least, is Lord Voldemort. And he's got Nagini hanging over his shoulder. And it's called He Who Must Not Be Named. Now this one is a very Voldemort color. It is a matte. So there's not, no dimension or sparkle to it. And the color is grey taupe muted color. It's kind of like the color of Voldemort's skin. Those are all the things I got for Christmas this year. I am very lucky to have such amazing friends and family. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. I'm not doing this to brag in any way, shape or form at all. I just like watching what I got for Christmas videos and I thought I'd do my own. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe below and leave me any comments with any recommendations or any tutorials you'd like to see. I love hearing from you guys. So anyway, 
Happy New Year again and thanks for watching. Bye!